Okay, I will. I'll tell everyone. I'll make sure. I'll make sure. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I will. Oh, okay. I'll put you back. You're already here. Good morning. Welcome to White Squirrel Public Library Storytime. Today in White Squirrel, it's very, very rainy. Wet, rainy, cloudy. So my friends and I, when we just met Bart, my friends and I decided we wanted to read a fabulous book about something lovely, something wonderful. So we decided unicorns. Well, Bart, Bart said, mm, maybe there's something that we need to know about unicorns before we wish for one. You don't want a unicorn, Bart? Really? You don't want a unicorn. Okay. This book was written by Amy Dykema. You don't want a unicorn. Doesn't that look exciting, though? Let's find out why we don't want a unicorn. Okay, here we are at a wishing well. We've got our unicorn. Looks like we have a coin. <gasps> wait, wait before you put that coin in there. I think you're going to wish for a unicorn, but before you do that, I think you need to know some. I think you need to know something. Don't don't do it. Don't do it yet. Don't put that coin in there. Don't do it. Don't do it. Plop. You did it, didn't you? You wished for a unicorn. And poof. You did. You wished for a unicorn. Well, let me tell you, things are about to get ugly. First of all, there's some things you need to know about a unicorn. Number one, they are exciting. You can fly on them. You can fly across the sky. You can leave rainbows. It's really awesome. But did you know they shed? Look at that. Look at all of that shedding. Unicorns shed. They leave a lot of yellow fur everywhere. And unicorns scratch. They scratch. They scratch the couch. They scratch pillows. There's no stopping. And another thing you don't know about a unicorn, they can't be house trained. Now true, they may leave cupcakes, which might be fun, but trust me, you don't want it. And then there's something else you need to know about. You know, when you get all excited and you just can't stand it and you start jumping, well, unicorns are the same way. And when they jump with that horn sticking out of their head, they stick right up into the roof of your, your house or the building. When they start jumping and chewing and, oh, don't get me started on their burping. Now, yes, it is a rainbow, but it's a burp. And they're pretty loud. What delicate. Oh my gosh. So many things. And while you think you might be able to keep up with it, you know, sweeping up the cupcakes and cleaning up the shedding, the scratching, all of that. And then there's something else you need to know about. Yes, that's not all. Unicorns don't like to be alone. They like to be in groups. Who doesn't like a friend? So when a unicorn wants a friend, they just wave that horn in the, way, the air and poof, enter a friend. And then when this friend wants a friend, she just waves that horn up in the air and poof, another friend. And when this friend wants a friend, they wave their horn up in the air and poof, another friend. And another friend, and before you know it, you have unicorns all over your house. So now you've got shedding and chewing and scratching and jumping times four. Ah! That 
makes a unicorn party? Look at that. Before you know it, all of them are having a party. They're scratching everywhere and they're chewing everywhere. Look at that. They're chewing and they've got all kinds of shedding. One of them is even stuck in the roof. Oh my gosh, you've got a unicorn party and it's, what is it doing to your house? I told you, I told you, I told you. Quick, grab your piggy bank and run, run as fast as you can to that wishing well. You've got to wish them away. You can't stop it. They'll keep multiplying. You've got to stop them. You've got to stop them. Run, 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 run. Start wishing away. Plop, plop. They're gone. They're all gone. Except that one. And yes, I know you don't want to. I know you don't. But you're going to have to wish this one away too. Oh, that's very sad. Plop. Poof. And off they go. <sighs> very sad day. So what are you going to do now? You're going to walk over to that bench. Look at that. There's something there on that bench. What is that? What is that? Is that a dinosaur? I think that's a dinosaur. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Stop. Don't throw that coin in the fountain. Don't throw that one last coin in the fountain. Trust me, trust me, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Flip, plop. He did it, didn't he? He threw that coin in the fountain. And now, poof. You've got a dinosaur to deal with. You thought that unicorn was challenging. Try working with a dinosaur. Thank you very much for joining us for story time, and we hope to see you again next week. Maybe it won't be quite as wet. Take care.